Welcome to our lecture online. Given the two vectors, the B vector and the A vector, we're supposed to add the two vectors together, subtract B from A, do it both graphically and algebraically. So let's start with graphically. We want to do A plus B, sum the two vectors together, which means we're going to take the tail of vector B and position it at the tip of vector A. So basically you're moving vector B over to this direction. If you do that, vector B will look like this. Notice any vector can be moved to any position as long as you keep the length of the vector the same, the direction the same, which is kind of the same. Let me try to do a little bit better. I think it's more like this. There we go. And then the resultant vector will be from the, the tail of A to the tip of B. So we've moved the vector B over here. There's vector A. And the resultant then, let's use the blue color, that would be A plus B, so B from there to there. And this would then be A plus B. What does it look like when we subtract B from A? Well, we can say that A minus B is the same as A plus the negative of B. And the negative of B is the same magnitude but opposite in direction. So what we're going to do now is we're going to draw the negative of B. So if this is B right here, vector B, then the negative of B will be in this direction. This is the negative of vector B. And now all we have to do is add vector A to vector B. We can do that by using the parallelogram method. And so, in other words, I can draw a line parallel to vector B here. I can draw a line parallel to vector A here. And notice where the two meet. That will be the resultant of A minus B, which is the same as A plus the negative of B. So that's how we add and subtract the two vectors graphically. Now let's do the same analytically. In order to do that analytically, algebraically, what we need to do here is we need to find the x and y components of each of the two vectors. So for vector a, that's fairly straightforward because it only has an x component. It would be minus 7 in the i direction plus 0 in the j direction. Sometimes we'll just put it as a placeholder. There's no component in the j direction. For vector b, notice we have a b component, an x component in the x direction, so that would be equal to 20 times the cosine of 37 degrees in the i direction plus 20 times the sine of 37 degrees in the j direction. The cosine of 37, I believe that's 0.8, 37 times the cosine, 0.8, and that would be 0.6 for the sine of 37. So this would be, let's see here, b is equal to 0.8 times that is 16 in the i direction, plus 6 times that, that would be 12 in the j direction. So here are the two vectors with their x and y components. Now we can add the two together. So if we're going to add a plus b, that is going to be equal to minus 7 plus 16 in the i direction plus 0 plus 12 in the j direction. So this is equal to 9i plus 12j. And that would be the sum of the two vectors. Now if we're going to subtract b from a, we get a minus b, which is equal to a plus a minus b, like this that would be equal to minus 7 minus 16 in the i direction, and that would be plus 0 minus 12 in the j direction. We simply change the sign of the two b components, and so that would be equal to minus 23 in the i direction and minus 12 in the j direction. That would be for a minus b, and this here would be a plus b. Now let's see if that makes sense graphically. Notice we have plus 9i plus 12j, so 9i plus 12j, that looks about right. And on the a minus b, we have minus 23 in the i direction, minus 12 in the j direction. That looks about right as well. So the graphical result looks very similar to what we'd expect with the analytical result. And that is how it's done.